This is Snorlax uh, solving, or oh, Larry. <laughs> okay, doing uh, day 31 of the, the last day. Wait, is it the last day or is it a new? Oh no, okay. Yeah, day 31 of the uh, October Leco Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. And it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. I'm dressed up as Snorlax. Let me try to do this poem as Snorlax. Uh, Snorlax, Snorlax, Snorlax. Anyway, uh, today's poem is Find a Multi Level Doubly Linkless. Uh, what a mouthful. Okay, so I guess it probably is what it sounds like. Um, what, what am I finding to? Uh, so one, uh, so it goes, uh, so it goes to seven and then it goes to eight, wait, okay, um, let's see, which may, maybe, say what, but how, which way are we finding, I think that's the question, um, and I, there's no way I need, okay. Uh, let's see. There's, okay, the next and the previous, so regular double link list and a child. Okay. To produce a multi level, find the list. They don't tell you how to find the list, do they? Like, just tell me how to do it, or like which order, right? So now, in, so it goes to child to seven, then eight, then, uh, and okay. So it's kind of like you keep going down and then you come back up. Uh, this is going to be a mess, though. Uh, as I would say, um, I would say for these problems, uh, the first thing I would recommend, especially if you have, and I might run into this, to be honest, because doubly linked lists especially are a mess. Um, the thing that I would recommend is drawing things out and kind of... Um, almost like stepping through each part of the code and see what updates over time um, as a debugging tip. Um, also, one one disclaimer is that I am solving this live, so it may go very long, especially for this one. And maybe there'll be, because conceptually, I don't think it's that hard, but there may be a lot of debugging and you could maybe learn from me debugging. I don't know, we'll see. But if you don't like that, then just watch it on the fastest speed, skip forward, whatever you need to do. Um, yeah, this, this problem is a little bit ill, um, I wouldn't say ill-defined, but just not clearly defined. Um, but yeah, so basically you just go to child as many as you can, so let's do it. Let's kind of start writing something and then we'll we'll think about it. Um, okay, so how do I want to think about it? Think about it, think about it. Uh, hmm. This is just an awkward problem to general. So let's start by let's start by just having a, hmm, a recursive function to do it. But um, hmm. no, okay. I, I think I'm okay. Um, actually, no, yeah, okay, that's, I think I have a good idea, even though this is a bit of a mess, so let's call this, eh, flat, I don't know, naming things is hard, all right, um, so let's just say this is flat, and then now this is the beginning of the no, we want to, um, okay, so basically, given a no, this would be the, what what we what what are, what are the preconditions right? So so the precondition for here is that node is the first node on this level, and then we will, um, and then we return the last node on this level. Okay, so that's what how we I would structure this, and then now maybe this is a little bit easier. So current is equal to node, um for okay so while current dot next uh, current is not none current is equal to current dot next say uh so this is just setting up the for loop essentially um but then now we have to check okay if current has child the child is not none then what do we do um okay so what, what do we do if if child is not none then we want to set uh, something like current dot next 
is equal to flat of current dot child, um, right? Conceptually, but we have to do more than this, right? Um, no, this is not true. This is this will get the last node. So we want to get. Um, so we actually want to do something like. Uh, we want to set current dot next is equal to current dot child. Not this is not canon yet, because we do. And then so the current dot next the, the previous next uh, previous is a weird word too. So O next O next is equal to current dot next, and then current dot next we set the child, and then O next. Um, so we have this thing. So new n maybe yeah. so new n dot next is equal to o next. Um, is that sufficient? Mm, I I know that I'm missing a lot of back pointers and no pointers and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to make sure that this is at least in a good price. Okay, so here let's say we have three um, current dot next. We set it to seven. We do a recursion on the seven. Um, and then the seven should return the 10, I think. Yeah. So new n is equal to 10. And then we set the 10, you go to O next. So I think we're okay in theory. Um, now we just have to make sure that, yeah, the current dot child is equal to none, for example. Uh, or, eh. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's say, say, uh, how do I want to do it? I guess technically this is current dot next, but though it is way awkward to say, to do it this way. So I, I'm gonna put in a, a a temporary variable just just so that it's a little bit easier to um, read for me anyway. Old child is equal to current dot child. We set it to oops, we set it to none. Um, and then now we have to set something. We have to set the previous. So yeah. Oh, the, so the child doesn't have a previous because it's the beginning of a linked list. Okay, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, child dot previous or brief is equal to current. Um, and then the, the old oh next dot brief is equal to new n. Is that enough? This is so like disgusting looking, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that I might have to think about this a little bit. Um, like, I mean, this isn't hard. It's just we have to make sure that this is right, I think. Um, and is this right? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, let's, let's actually return. Five, oh, oh, this would return the last node, which we don't want to do. Um, but we could just do this, I think. Uh, I don't like the way that this is structured, though. But... Um, Oh, not, this is none. Okay, so this is clearly wrong because I'm return. Oh, I just didn't return anything. Uh, so we should not return current because current is going to be none. So mm, if current dot next is none, we return current. Otherwise, we do return none. I suppose somehow. Oh, hmm. I was. I thought that there may be an infinite loop somewhere. Uh, oh, let's see. I'm still not that confident about it, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, if current is already... Okay, the empty case I actually did not consider, so that's fine, but... Uh, eh, too lazy. Actually, the way that I usually write it is I have a sentinel. That's why I didn't... But today, I don't know why I didn't do it that way. But um, yes. Sentinel? How do I spell? Okay, whatever. Just for sent is equal to... Node um, send dot next is equal to head, and then here we do uh, send dot next, and then we just do send dot next, right? Um, this doesn't change it because this current will still be not. Wait, does that work now? Oh, hmm. Why is why is current none then? Oh, oh, oh! I, I messed up. I did this. Uh, okay. That was unrelated, maybe actually. Huh, okay, so let's get rid of the sentinel. Maybe I didn't need it for this particular one. 
Uh, okay. Okay, so that looks good. Am I confident still? To be honest, not really, but I'm a little bit lazy to construct test cases, so let's just submit. Oh, I did it uh, about a year. And, oh, no. Oh, did I not check for that? I guess I didn't check for that. But I did it right the first time, uh, last time, but this time not so much. Uh, what is O next? Oh, because this could be none. So on the last element, it can have... Okay. Hmm, how do I think about this? So basically, it's just a child list, and we want to find it to a thing. Okay. Um, if the O next is none, then... Okay, I mean, I guess there really is if... Because then this would just set this to be none anyway, so okay. Maybe that's good enough, but that's a silly penalty, maybe. Am I going to get another one? I'm going to get another penalty anyway. I feel so silly about this particular one, but okay, that's good. 579 streak, um, yeah. And let, let me take a quick look at what I did last time. Uh, huh? My code last time was quite, quite cleaner. Um, hmm, though I didn't document it as much. Oh, I guess I returned the head and the tail. Hmm. I wonder how I how long I did on that one. But this code is so much greener. I feel a little bit bad because this code looks a little bit yuckier. Um, but I would also think about this almost like um, like a tree traversal. Um, we just kind of and, and then eh, the tree traversal is actually maybe the straightforward part. But then the part about reconstruction is a little bit trickier. Um, but but it should be okay. But yeah, but this is going to be linear time because we look at each node at most once or. I like well we look at each node at most once. Um we might mock with it a couple of times, but constant number of times. So this is gonna be linear time. And in terms of space, uh well we do use recursion, so and the recursion stack can be at uh at most O of N nodes, so it's gonna be O of N space as well. Uh, everything is in place uh, otherwise, so this is gonna be linear time, linear space. Um that's all I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. Hope y'all have a great weekend. Hope y'all have a great, you know, Halloween. Snorlax. And stay good. Stay healthy. Uh, maybe I said that already. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Um,